Okay, for this portion of the review sheet, I'm going to be reading the questions out for you, and we are going to be um, trying to listen to the questions and then answer using the, the choices provided. So for question 16, um, if I have blood type A, who can I donate blood to? If I have blood type A, who can I donate to? So for these questions, you may circle more than one answer. Okay, for question 17, if I have blood type A, who can I receive blood from? If I have blood type A, who can I receive blood from? For question 18, if I have blood type B, who can I donate blood to? If I have blood type B, who can I donate blood to? For question 19, if I have blood type B, who can I receive blood from? If I have blood type B, who can I receive blood from? For question 20, if I have blood type O, who can I donate to? If I have blood type O, who can I donate to? For question 21, if I have blood type AB, who can I receive blood from? If I have blood type AB, who can I receive blood type from? And lastly, for question 22, if I have blood type AB, who can I donate blood to? If I have blood type B, AB, who can I donate blood to? For question 23, these types of blood vessels are the sites of gas exchange. These sites of these types of blood vessels are the sites of gas exchange. For question 24, these types of blood vessels have very thick muscular walls. They carry blood at a high pressure and they always carry blood away from the heart. For question 25, these types of blood vessels oftentimes contain valves and they always transport blood towards the heart. For 26, if blood is in the right atrium, where would it go next? If blood is in the right atrium, where would it go next? For question 27, if blood is in the left atrium, where would it go next? If blood is in the left atrium, where would it go next? For question 28, if blood is in the vena cava, the inferior and superior vena cava, where would it go next? If blood is in the inferior and superior vena cava, where would it go next? Lastly, for question 29, if blood is in the lungs and then the pulmonary vein, where would it go next? If blood is in the lungs and then the pulmonary vein, where would it go next? For question 30, after blood leaves the left ventricle, where does it go? After blood leaves the left ventricle, where does it go? For question 31, when blood gives oxygen off to cells and then comes back through veins, where does blood go next? When blood gives off oxygen to cells and then goes back towards the heart through veins, where does it go next? For question 32, when blood leaves the lungs, where does it go next? When blood leaves the lungs, where does it go next? For question 33, for question 33, when blood 
leaves the right ventricle, where does it go? When blood leaves the left ventricle, where does it go? Lastly, for question 34. Oops, for, for question 33, when blood leaves the right ventricle, where does it go? Okay, lastly, for question 34. When blood leaves the pulmonary capillaries, where does it go? For question 34, when blood leaves the pulmonary capillaries, where does it go? Okay, if you want to go through the answers, see, show up for the review session during the Google Meet, and we can go over some of the answers.